All right, so this is the uh, the new 7.0 firmware for the Tesla Model S. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the dashboard, you'll notice the dashboard looks a whole lot different. For those of you that are not, no big deal. Um, but in the center area here is where the big deal is, is this icon up to the left is my TAC, the Traffic Aware Cruise Control. So that's what I've had my normal autopilot of everything except for the steering. Uh, it's my speed in the middle, and then over to the right is whether the uh, uh, auto steer is available. Down here it's showing uh, the cars that it sees and the lane markings and stuff. So right now it sees both sides of my lane. Well, it kind of blinked out a little bit on my right. We're going through an intersection here, so you're gonna see them both blink out because there's no lines. And now it sees the lines again because we're on the other side of the intersection. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull back once and you see that my tack is active now and it's blue. Right now my steering went away because it didn't have enough information to allow me to start it. So now I can pull it twice and now it's on auto steer. So now I've gone completely hands-free, and since we're in city driving, I'm actually gonna kinda keep my hands up and close as I'm prepared. But whatever's blue on the screen, and by the way, we're coming up to a red light, so it's gonna come to a complete stop here on its own, um, is whatever's blue is what it's using to reference where it's keeping it on the road. So it just switched to the car. So now it's using the car in front of me to figure out how to stay centered in the lane, because as we're coming through the lane markings uh, up to the light, they were uh, open spots as you change lanes, so there's no lane markings for it to be seen. So it's locked onto this vehicle in front of me. This has all the side of uh, collision avoidance stuff. So you can see over to my right, it actually sees there's a vehicle sitting back there to my uh, right. Um, and that's what, they, uh, that's what the car sees. When this turns green, it's gonna automatically go on its own. Um, again, both of these are blue, so it's in full auto, so I'm not doing any steering. It does tell me what the speed limit is, so it's 25 here. My cruise control is set to 30, um, which is my normal, which is about five above the speed limit and stuff. And, uh, and so now the blue are on the line, so it's using the lines to figure out where it's at. And so uh, I don't know right now, are you able to see the steering wheel and a little bit of the, the road? Um, I can, yeah. Yeah, if you wanna see a bit of the road so you can kinda of see, okay, that's where the car is in front of us and how far it was able to see. So can you also see the dashboard yes. in that one? Okay, so you can see how far it looks on my dashboard and it gets farther away on the dashboard as they get farther away on there. So you can see up over this hill, there's a stoplight. So you're gonna end up seeing the car come uh, to a complete stop here and see how it's going to adjust and that there's a turn in the road so that I'm really not doing any steering. My hands and my feet are totally away from everything. So right now the car is actually doing all of the driving. Again, like before, the lane markings went out on the sides here, so there's no lane markings here and it's using the car uh, to figure out where it's at. It's gonna come up to this intersection, it's actually gonna turn to the left. It also shows the cars, both my car and the other car, where they are in the lane. So you can see that car in front of me actually was off on the very left-hand side of the lane up there. Um, and now they're a little bit more in the center of the lane. Uh, as we're driving. I can still rotate this and change how far, how much distance I want between the cars. I've been leaving it on a four right now on uh, city traffic. It's about a good distance where it's not too much where people want to get in front of you and stuff. As of right now, it still does not stop at stop lines and stop, uh, uh, stop signs. So uh, I do still need to be very aware and do that. And there's been a couple of times I've had to take control. Um, we haven't seen it uh, come up yet. Uh, here comes another stoplight. There's a car in front of me, so I'm not gonna have to do anything. Is uh, where it says, hold the wheel. There's no audible thing that goes with it. And then I just need to put my hands on the wheel um, and it's able to sense uh, the wheel because it's got a, a torque sensor on there. There's no sensor to see that my hands are actually on it. It senses uh, if anything's turning on there. Uh, and if it and it'll say hold the wheel if it's unsure of its situation and it wants you to be prepared. If it really wants you to take over, there's an audible warning and a big red thing that shows two hands on the steering wheel and says take over immediately. Um, and then uh, then you've got to take control. And if you don't take control, the car starts to brake and stuff. I've already uh, done some testing with that, and uh, yes, it definitely starts to abruptly slow down. Once I take control. If I take control of any of these, so I'm gonna grab the wheel and actually take control here. So right there, I now took control, but you notice that the tack actually stays active. So I still don't need to do anything with my feet. So unless I hit the brakes, which will kick both of them off, it'll actually keep things on. So I'm gonna double tap and we're back on hands-free. And so that's uh, the really quick first video of 
how this stuff is working. We'll do some more when we get in some turns so you can really see it doing some turns and stuff.